Hawaii County Council members were given an update on the organic waste program during a recent committee meeting. The issue goes back to early 2017. We are making everybody aware of the East Hawaii compost facility. As the new year began, the East Hawaii Organics facility planned for Pana Eva had the community concerned. But our closest house is going to be a thousand feet away. That's ridiculous. And that's when I said, I need to look at this whole thing. When newly elected Mayor Harry Kim said he was going to take a second look at the project, which was spearheaded by the previous administration, it came to the attention of the Hawaii County Council. If it's no, explain why not. Which had previously approved the facility. So it was a very positive moment in time. I did not know that there was an issue. The West Hawaii facility is three miles from its nearest resident, but our East Hawaii facility is 2,000 feet. Our community, Pana Eva, is saying that they will be litigating. On February 7th, Environmental Management Committee Chair Eileen O'Hara summarized the events of the year before. As you may recall, we had um, some issues with this contract about a year ago. Um, at that time, in February of last year, February 16th, our mayor canceled a contract that had been let by the previous administration. It was a 10-year contract. And after considerable back and forth between the council, the administration, and the company, it, um, it was resolved by rescinding the cancellation notice in April. And at that time, um, because negotiations were taking place between the company and the county, um, a change to contract or a supplemental contract needed to be fashioned. Corporation Council Joe Camelamella gave an update on the county's supplemental contract with Hawaiian Earth Recycling. This uh, thick contract that you see before me, you know, really takes a lot of work. And, um, and so, as you can see by my two-page letter, you know, there is, uh, there is a lot of time, uh, you know, that is spent uh, to, to ensure uh, that uh, both parties, both HER and the, the county, you know, work, work together to make sure that we get the best uh, contract terms for both of the parties. And Hilo and Council and member Aaron Chung was alarmed by the need right. to put the project That's out to bid. How can that, you do that? Uh, no, so that was... Whose idea is that? Uh, it, it was a um, you know an issue that was brought up because of the pre procurement code. So so it was important that the that the county uh, does that. So that is a substantial change, and 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 um, if you need more information about that, you know you get um, you know talk to. I mean, who who came up with that? We did. Is this going to increase the cost, right? Uh, we don't know. Yeah. But at least we know the procurement code uh, issues that that existed is 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 not a concern. So who is this going to be operated by? Um, the the final operation, HER. So why don't they build it? The director of the Department as of Environmental said, Management, a, Bill Kucharski, tried to explain the issue of the uh, construction of the facility modified once we went in and we were changing the location we when we when the my understanding when the original RFP went out there were no funds available to pay for the facility it was only after the contract original contract was signed that we had a a cost the 10 million plus or minus then once we went in and we moved the facility and we had the rescission and we returned, we had already allocated that money, county monies, that $10 million, because we couldn't sign the contract without uh, having the allocation and certifying funds are available for that contract. And so uh, once that those funds were certified, we are now in a position of not having bid put out for bid a um, designed build. And so now we have to do a design bid build because we're building this with county funds. Originally it was the contractor's funds that were going to be used and we were going to repay. At this point we're now in a, in a design bid build so that was the primary reason for the change. 
because to me, a design build is more efficient. As we had, we had a contract with these guys. I'm gonna blow my mind if the price goes up now because we are coming in to build this thing. Kucharski also revealed that the site for the East Hawaii facility will be somewhere in the Keaau area of Puna. Uh, currently we have, uh, we're, we currently have a contract with AECOM who is looking at three separate sites, uh, two of them uh, that, are, that are in the um, uh, Shipman Industrial Park, another one by the uh, Keaau transfer station they're being examined for engineering suitability of these sites. They will then grade those three sites to find a preferred site from the perspective of engineering. We have a second contract with SS, uh, SSFM uh, to do the EA that is being routed for signature and will uh, should commence within the, within the month and that EA, they will then take a look at all of the, the cultural traffic, noise, all of the things that you're required to do for all three of the sites as is required by the environmental statute by HR 343. And uh, we expect to have that decision done and the report done by the end of this year. Um, once we go through the process, if everything works as we hope it will and nothing is certain with an EA, um, uh, by January of next year, we should have a site selected and the full EA process completed. That then leaves 18 months for design and construction, design bidding, construction of the facility uh, in East Hawaii. And uh, so that is, that is the schedule. So then we actually are um, going to select one of those three depending on what is discovered during this um, evaluation of each of them.